Yo, so I've seen some people say that they're struggling with Grardor as melee relic. Even with T7 and T8 relics, they're still struggling. Uh, some people seem to think melee is the worst of the three styles this league, and that's just not true. You just have to try like 10% harder than the OP majors, and you're going to be way cooler than them at the end of the day anyway, so just hang tight, boys. I'm going to show you an extremely easy way to consistently off-tick and flick the minions at Grardor. And that might sound advanced, but I promise it's really simple with this setup. And by the end of the video, you're going to be able to flex hard on all your Magic Relic friends and become a true melee Giga Chad that just has to put in a little bit more work rather than just get everything handed to them like the little Magic Piss Boys, alright? So let's get started. First, equip your spec weapon and click the spec orb, then pray mage, that's right, mage, and piety. Then, you're going to right click the door and choose private instance. During the door transition, you're going to spam click the northwest corner of the room on the minimap. You want to aim slightly outside the edge of the room on the minimap, so that way you get really flush in that corner. And make sure you're really spamming so that your character moves on the first tick possible. Congrats, you just off tick the minions and you can take zero damage during the kill. It really is that simple. So quick note here, I'm using the BGS, but I did this with DDS too. I did it before Berserker, and I did it before Blood Fury. You don't need any of that. If you do this exactly how I'm showing you, you'll still take way less damage and have no trouble at all. However, it only takes six ticks to fully dump my BGS specs. If you were using a DDS and you want to do it exactly like this video, you should only use three DDS specs. All right, now for part two, actually flicking the minions so you don't take damage. So once you're in the corner, switch to Prey Melee as Grardor is walking up and let him come up to you. Once he's in range, dump your specs on him. After you dump your specs, you're going to switch to your Whip and Defender and click back on the boss. Very soon after, Grardor is going to attack. As soon as you see him do this attack, you pray range. Now your eyes look at the ranged minion. When you see him raise his arms to throw his axe, you pray mage. Now your eyes look at the mage minion. Once you see him raise his arms to cast a spell, you pray melee. And from there, we just repeat it. Now, unfortunately, you can't repeat this forever because the minions attack every five ticks and Grodor attacks every six ticks. What this means for us is that on every repeat of the cycle, Grodor's attack occurs one tick later than last time until eventually his attack overlaps with a minion's. There are advanced ways of dealing with that, such as stepping under or running away on the tick that Grodor would overlap with a minion, but we're not doing any of that shit because we're so juiced up in Trailblazer that it's not worth a DPS loss. Instead, just pray melee on that tick and then continue as normal. Honestly, he probably won't even live long enough for that to matter too much anyways. With this particular setup, if you off-tick how I showed you, Grardor's first overlap will be with the ranged minion, then there will be a cycle of ranged Grardor mage, and then he'll overlap with the mage minion, and then it's back to the top from the same spot as after you equip the weapon defender. If that's too hard to wrap your head around, that's fine. Uh, when in doubt, just camp pray melee and wait for the cycle to begin again from the top. And that's the thing, you don't have to do this method all or nothing. It doesn't have to be perfect. You reduce a ton of incoming damage even just half-assing it like this, and that's the point of the video. To show you that you can truly half-ass the hell out of it, and you'll still improve your kills drastically and take way less damage, and all that. And just real quick here at the end, I want to point out that you can use the same visual cues to flick the minions after the boss is dead too, if you still want to kill them for Godsword Shards or whatever. You just pay attention to the Ranger and Major raising their arms. If you have their style already prayed, once they raise their arms, that's when you're in the clear to switch to whichever one else. Uh, with this setup of off hitting them, the Ranger and the Major will always remain off ticked after the boss is dead. So you can at least reduce two thirds of the damage you take at the end. Sometimes the melee is a bit weird and he will be not off ticked. A lot of the times actually. It's easy to fix him though. All you gotta do is run away and then go back in range of him when you want to get hit by him when it's favorable for you. But to be completely honest, you don't have to do that either. Just face tank him while you're flicking the other two and then he'll die at the end. Uh, Cause you're just so juiced and trailblazer, it doesn't really matter. Okay, so thanks for watching. I hope this helped literally anybody out there. Melee is not weak. In Trailblazer Reloaded, it is Giga Chad, Turbo Ultra, Mega Strong, and it's cool. You're cool if you play Melee. Remember that. Tell your friends that you're cooler than them.